So what are the pitfalls? What are the problem that was in the life of Gehazi that stopped him from receiving the anointing, stopped him from, from becoming a next man of God, doing greater things for God in his life? What was the problem in his life? Three. That's right. Every one of you say that. Okay? Every one of you say it was the greed for money. Okay? But that is not the main reason. So I'm going to run through with you tonight 73 reasons of <laughs> Somebody is saying, the, the wife is saying to the husband, let's just get out. Come on, let's get out. This, this is not going to happen, man. No, 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 I won't keep you like that. Just 53, is that okay? <laughs> All right. I'm going to share with you three important things. Three things that happened in his life because he was not watchful that took away from him God's anointing and God's blessing and God's plan and purpose from his life. Okay? The first and the foremost reason is not greed. Greed was not the main reason. So what is the main reason? What was the problem? What is the pitfall? In the life of Gehazi. And this is something that we should all watch. It. The greatest problem in the life of Gehazi was he lost the excitement of walking with God. You're there? The most important thing that we should watch, everyone. From an ordinary Christian to the deacon and the elder and the pastor and an apostle, prophet or teacher, no matter who we are, we should always watch it. Never lose the excitement of our walk with God. Amen? In the course of him going and spending time with the master and watching him doing all these things, it became a routine in the life of, of, of Gehazi. It didn't seem special to him anymore. It didn't seem exciting in his life anymore. It seemed like a normal day-to-day -day lifestyle, singing, clapping your hands, doing this thing, and that's just, just nothing but a lifestyle. That is not Christianity. You know, if we lose the joy and the excitement in walking with our God, do you realize Christianity is the most boring religion on the face of the earth? Every other religion has got so much of exciting things going on. Hinduism, man, every other week is a festival. Oh, that firecrackers over here and throwing colors on the man over here and then going and tying something on the girl's hand some other time. It goes on and on and on. What do you have? <laughs> what do we have? Potlucks. That's what I said. Most boring stuff. <laughs> Keep on dipping into it and get the same potatoes again and again. <laughs> he lost the excitement. Anything that was happening never excited him anymore. I want you to think for a moment about our own lives. No matter how long you've been a Christian, no matter how many years, you have been going to church. That should not alter the fact that we should ever, ever lose 
the joy and the excitement of following Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Do you believe that?